I'm going to show you how you can share a folder in Windows 11. I'm in Windows 11 Pro. This also works in Enterprise and Education. So I'm going to go into File Explorer and I'm going to go to the C drive and I'm going to create a new folder and then I'm going to share it and then I'm going to show how it can be opened on another computer. So I'm going to right click on here and choose New Item and create a new folder. And I'll call this folder Shared. Next, I'm going to right click on the new folder, go to Properties, and I have Sharing and Security. So I'll choose to either share or choose advanced sharing. Now, I like to choose advanced sharing because you have a little bit more options and it's really not more difficult at all. So just click the share this folder. The name is called shared. I can change it here if I'd like. I can also limit the amount of users. Now by default, the maximum amount is going to be 20 users, but you can choose less if you'd like. Click on permissions. Right now it says everybody has permissions, so but they only have read permissions. So I could choose full control for everyone if I have no real security issues, or I could click add and then type in an individual user or group. But I'm going to choose everyone, and I'll show you why in just a second here. So click OK, click OK. Now I'm going to go to security. So the way a folder is shared is a combination of sharing tab information and security tab information. So I've given everybody access to the sharing tab, but if I don't give them access to the security tab, then it won't work. So we can see that users, which is any user account on my local computer, is going to be able to have read and execute and things like that. But if I want them to have full control, I'll click Edit and choose full control. So this means any user account in there will have full control. So I'll click OK, click OK, click close. Or I could also just simplify this and type in everyone. So what's the difference between everyone and the users group? Well, the users group means you have to be a member of the particular users uh, you know, computer group. But if you choose everyone, then you don't. It just means everybody has access. It doesn't matter who it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to another computer and try to connect into this computer. Now we can do that either by computer name or we can do it by IP address. I'm going to go ahead and do it by IP address just because I have no DNS server for this particular computer. So there's no way to, to uh, resolve names, names of computers, only IP addresses. So I've gone in to the, I've right clicked on this little network icon and opened up the network and sharing. I can choose multiple different options here. I can either click on advanced network settings and get the information or just click on Ethernet, which I'll do here. And down here it says my IP address is 192.168.21.195. Next, what I'm going to do is go down to the search box and type in firewall. So I need to make sure that my firewall has the port open I need in order to access these particular files. So I'll click on advanced settings. And my firewall opens up. Now I'll click on Inbound Rules. And I want to look for File and Printer Sharing. So I just got to scroll down. There we are. And I want to enable File and Printer Sharing, SMB in. One is for IP version 6, the other is IP version 4. So just do both of them if you're not sure which to do. And now I should be able to connect to this particular computer from another one. Now what I've done is I've opened up File Explorer on another computer and I've put in the UNC path. That's backslash backslash followed by the IP address or you could do it by the name if you have a DNS server doing name resolution. If you're not sure, just do the IP address. So now I'm going to hit enter and I get prompted for a username and, and uh, password. So I'll just go ahead and put that information in. Hit enter and there's my shared folder. And of course there's nothing in it, but that's okay. I could actually even create a file there and if I go back into my computer and open up File Explorer I should see that folder or that file inside that folder so I'll double click on it and there's the file that I created on the other computer so that's how you do a share on Windows 11